Hammer, welcome back. This is Yancy Gun Hammer and... Victoria Steinway, Gun Hammer. And this is our podcast. We just, uh, we're just putting our hearts to share this. And uh, my wife wants to share her favorite scripture. So I'll have her share it. Uh, it's Psalm 23. One through three. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, righteousness for his name's sake. And that's your favorite scripture. That's that your favorite scripture. Because it really touched my life um, at a time. It touched me in, at a time in my life when um, there was healing happening that God did in my heart and just my life. I'm going to read a little bit more of that. I'm going to go to four. It says, it says Ye that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you, you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare, prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Now I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, um, our last uh, podcast we shared a little bit of our, our Vic's testimony and um, I guess we just kind of follow it from that and you know the Lord's restored our, not just delivered Vic from alcohol but also restored our marriage and I know Vic likes to share um, how the Lord started doing that in our household and I'll let her share a little bit mm-hmm. I never knew that love was and I never felt it um, before I, mean, I thought I would and then when I met the Lord um, he just he the love I got from him was was just so amazing and so big and um, I remember the when um, after he changed my life and began to, as I walked closer to him, he began to change my, just change my life. But I also asked him in prayer and asked him to restore my marriage. And one of the things I remember asking him, asking God, was the love for my husband. And as that began to happen, I would, um, when I would just pray about the end, and in my Bible, I would ask the I still like to, to just help me love him and to be the wife that he wants me to be. And so um, I just remember that even though my husband didn't always like to hear about Jesus and to hear about the things that I watched uh, or listened to, like preachers and that, the Lord spoke to my heart and he said to I love him, just love him, and be patient, I love him. And it was really hard for me to do that at first, but I, um, I told God that I was only going to do it for him. I was going to do it for him and not for my husband, no. And it was really hard, but I, um, as I begin to do, just begin to, just begin to walk closer to him, though, I, the Lord would show me how to love my husband, and I always remember when him and I, when I first decided to, because we actually slept in different rooms, and so I went to lay down with him, and he would look at me really funny, and he would actually, like, what are you doing here? But when I would hug him, I, I didn't feel that. You know, I didn't feel that. It, it, didn't, it didn't make me want to push away from him or anything. But I would just say to, to love him and to show him love. And... Um, as that began to happen, I would ask my husband forgiveness for the things that I've done in our marriage and the things that in my drinking. I just began to ask him that, and he wouldn't really answer me. I remember one time I even gave him a card um, 
and asked him for forgiveness and I remember writing a letter to him. But um, it was amazing because I had more love for him at that time than I did when we first got together. And God's love was just so huge. And when we look back at these scriptures here, you know, I, I, I was planted over a lot the Psalms, and even the one that he read, um, one with the valley, the walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. I mean, it's amazing to me um, what he's done in our lives and how much love he has given to you and the patience and, and how do you to relate to, to my husband and and be able to be the wife that God wants me to be. And um, when I would ask him, he would just show me, like, how to be patient when it came to, you know, his his hobbies or his, even his work being what he does, the tech, you know, technology. I didn't understand it, but I asked the Lord to help me. And I really believe that's what we need to do, you know, is to ask the Lord in everything. So I'm going to share a little scripture here to you. To it's Mark 16 and start in verse 14. It says, Later he appeared to, to eleven and they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believed is baptized and saved and he who does not believe is will be condemned, and the signs will follow those who believe. In my name they shall cast out demons, they will speak new tongues, they will take up serpents, and drink anything, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will will recover. And when the Lord has spoke to them, he was received up into heaven, and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere the Lord work with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. You know, um, I had that hardness of heart towards my wife too, you know, because of unbelief and just not knowing the Lord. And when my wife started changing, we didn't see, you know, it says that we know people by their fruits and I started to see her changing and you know, it, it changed our family and our our lives and restored our marriage. And, and I didn't really believe anything. I'd go to church with her, but that's only if it wasn't a football game or anything on. And if they were having the, with the usual monthly dinner, I said, well, I'll go then, you know. <laughs> but, you know, my life, my, my wife's, wife's life changed. She started loving us. She wasn't as bitter and angry and it was a it was a different person he says you're a new creation and and we really got to see that in people they become transformed by the gospel they don't just go to church and we went to church all our lives I mean she did I didn't but you know and uh, as things changed um, he says he gives you a heart of flesh and I've seen that you know and he started to soften our hearts you know towards him you know, we haven't mentioned this, but we live on a reservation, and uh, we see a lot of alcohol and drugs, and, you know, we were, our family was kind of caught in that, too, and my wife would go out drinking and, and stuff, and I'd kind of stay home and watch the kids, you know, and, and uh, the Lord has different roles for us, you know, and I was just doing that role, the, the Lord wants us to be protectors of our family, and providers and I would work and and do those things and I still do but you know I was protecting our family from you know the alcohol and stuff that that affects our people you know and in my wife's past test last episode um, she kind of shared her testimony how the Lord brought her through the alcohol and drugs and all that so much drugs but the alcohol and it, I seen the, the change but I, I didn't always believe it but I want to share a little. Remember the, the Joyce Myers, your 
You're going to watch it on TV. And what did I say? What is this? <laughs> Where's my... Where's my... I don't know if you saying that. <laughs> I was like, where's my bombs and, and uh, other stuff and fighting and stabbing and kind of, um, you know, the usual guy stuff, football and, and everything. And I thought, well, I guess, right? What did I say? I'm just like... Well, whatever, we'll watch it then. And we're sitting out in the front room, and that was one of the first times I actually sat together and watched a, a sermon. And now what does it do say about the, the TV? Here's on Sister B, turn to it. And he says, she'll turn it to your channel, channel 21. <coughs> then, which is TVN. And it's always on that channel. Um, our kids know that. Yeah, and so, you know, it even changes the way we watch TV, and, and that's not being legal or anything. It's just a matter of, he changed our hearts and what we want to watch, you know. We don't do those things that we want to do. We do things the Lord calls us to do now. And, and he calls us to love each other, and that's just, you know, we, hear so, we live on the reservation, and so many people come here with, these missionaries and they don't get to know us we don't you know we don't really see them don't really know them very much you know we might, don't really have a relationship with them you know they come in and they come out and you know and maybe we'll send our kids off to daycare with them not very often but I know um, we don't we didn't really know any of them guys you know and when my wife began to know the Lord, I knew her and I knew how she acted and she knew me. And there was a real relationship there that was restored. And, uh, you know, I've seen her, like, she wanted to come back and lay by me. Like she said, we, we stayed in two different rooms and I didn't understand it and the Lord talked to you, right? Mm-hmm. The Lord, um, the Lord helped me just help me be able to see you know that we I mean I also back then I also say that he was gave us gave us the um the I don't know how to say it was the encouragement and the the patience too you know what I mean you have anything else to share you know, I'll just share a little bit, and, you know, it says you'll know them by their fruits, you know. And I started to see the fruits in our lives. You know, she started to have joy in her life and a happiness, and she said she's seen the sun for the first time, you know. And you could see that effect in her in our lives. You know, our yard wasn't always the best. There's like weeds and, and uh, just, you know, if you live on the reservation, you understand there's like old cars and weeds and, and trash out there, and that's how our yard was, you know. But what happened later on, Vic? With the yard, all of me. Oh, um, like I come outside and I... I would see, like, the, the, you know, the trees, and the, one time I came outside, we were just having a really hard time with our house, and, like, it was, um, but anyway, I've seen, <laughs> you know, she, she's seen a different yard, you know, the Lord just showed her a different yard, you know, so. It was all twinkly, I mean, it, it was amazing, like, it, it was like, it was like, almost like icicles, but I mean, it wasn't like that, it was like dew drops or something, and. And uh, it was just really bright. Um, and he still shows me things like that today, but just not as probably not as often. But it's just it's just amazing. So you know that's the end of our podcast, and uh, we're gonna let you go here. We're gonna we'll do a little bit more here. I'm just gonna end this episode, and we only do like 15 minutes. So we'll start another one here.